How much will I get from Social Security if I never work again, ever? All right, so we're going to show you three things, and then I'm going to stay to the end of the video so I can show you what it looks like for your spouse as well. Make sure you stay to the end so you can watch all the ads that go through the YouTube algorithm. Ad revenue is way down, so I really need you to stay through the end. <laughs> it is way down. But uh, anyway, so all right, so I just turned 52. I made well above the max last year. So we'll just say the max is 150 just for simplicity. All right, so the maximum uh, pay tax or the maximum taxable income you have for Social Security, the cap, the earnings limit is what they call it. We're just going to say 150. I don't know what it is, it's like 142, or something like that. Anything you make over that does not affect your Social Security taxes, and thus it doesn't affect your Social Security benefit. And I think the max benefit you can have right now at your full retirement age is like 3380, something like that. So I'm pretty close, all right? And so if I continue to work until I'm 67, another 15 years, and I make the max earnings limit, again, right now is 150 or what, 145, whatever it is, 150, 145, but I'm going to make the max, my benefit at 67 would be right there, 3226. All right, because my full retirement age is 67. That's when I don't take a, decline, a, a reduction in benefit and I don't get an increase uh, if I take it early or I take it later. I, don't, I just get that is my actuarial zero. I get no uh, uh, increase for taking it later and I get no deduction for taking it early. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, so 3226. If I continue to work above the, the benefit, the max earnings limit until I'm 67, I'm like, what are you doing? I got it. He's all crawling around that knucklehead. All right, so I know for a fact, if I continue to work, I will get 3226 right now. All right, let's say I'd never worked again. 2619, I'm 52. If I never worked again, my benefit is 2619. All right, 3226 or 2619. So 3226 minus 2619, that means I would lose 600 bucks a month in Social Security. $607 a month. You times that by 12, that would be 7300 bucks a year. All right. The way I look at this, my friends, very simple. You work a 40-hour work week, 20, uh, 2,080 hours in a 40-hour work week. So I literally would say by working, uh-uh, 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 and making another 150000 a year, all right, and my benefit only increases by 7284 I can literally say 2080 that would be the equivalent of, uh, oops, 7280 divided, what, I forgot what it was. It's now I forgot what my numbers were. Hold on a second. I'm basically working for Social Security um, for $3.50 an hour. How do I figure that? Well, it's quite simple. I say I'm going to keep grinding, keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. 16 tons, and what do you get? Another year older and deeper in debt. And I'm going to, so I want to keep working, keep grinding, keep grinding, because I want a bigger Social Security benefit when I'm 67 years old. My bigger Social Security benefit will be no more than $607 a month. That's the maximum I will get, because I'm already assuming I'm making the max income for the next 15 years until I'm 67. Again, I'm 52 now. So if I continue to do that, I would make an extra roughly $7,000 a month in Social Security. 7,000 a month in social, 7,000 a year in social security, 7,000 a year is the equivalent of $3.50 an hour for the 2,080 hours I work for a 40 hour work week. Now, if you're making the kind of money that I make, and I guarantee you're working more than 40 hours. So let's just say you're working 60 hours a week. So we're going to make 7,000 divided by, uh, I don't even know what that would be, uh, 2,000, that'd be about 3,000, we'll say 3,000 a year. That's two bucks an hour. So you're sitting there thinking, huh, huh, is it worth it for me to keep in my crappy old job so I can have an extra 600 bucks a month in 15 years, which is the equivalent of $3.50 an hour? I don't think it is. I don't think it is because you're sitting there thinking you look, don't look at it mutually exclusive. Thus, I either work in social security, work in my crappy old job so I can get an extra 100, 600 bucks a month, or I don't work in my crap hill job and I lose 600 bucks a month. Well, there's a happy medium in there. You ready? I'll check this. This is you get a part-time job or a, a secondary job, some kind of job you enjoy for 50,000 a year. All right, so here your benefits at 27.29. So here you only lose $500 a month from the max and you're gonna gain an extra $100 a month from nothing. The point being is like, eh, 
I don't know if to keep working for Social Security is worth it. I, my maximum benefit ever will be thirty-two twenty-six. But if I quit that crap old job with all the commute, all the extra hours that go into it, all the frustration, and I get a job at my local freaking nursery where I can help people plant trees, uh, my benefit will be twenty-seven twenty-nine at fifty thousand a year. Hmm, pretty interesting, huh? So now I'm gonna make five hundred bucks a month less. That's it. Okay. And everyone's going to mom. Right, how about the savings? You know that you're not putting your four hundred one k. How about the uh, uh, that you have to spend more from your four hundred one k because you have less social security? I get all that. I'm talking solely social security right now, because all those can be easily argued. Say, well, uh, if you keep grinding away, grinding away on a you know, I drive. I used to drive to Buckhead here in Georgia. The drive to Buckhead was 45 minutes on a good day, an hour, 20 minutes on a bad day. And if it gets rainy, it's stuff's freaking dangerous. People die in the traffic on the roads here all the time. Let me just take a look. How many people die on the highway? According to this, uh, uh, an annual United States road crash statistics, more than 38,000 people die every year on the highways. Now, is that all going down to uh, work? I don't know. But the less you're on the highway, the less likely you're going to die on the highway. Just pretty simple stuff. So you take 38,000 a year. Divide that by 365. Again, I, I, that's uh, 104 people die every day on the U.S. roads. That's horrible. If you're not on the roads, you don't die on the roads. Just that simple. All right, so let's keep going. And here it is, straight off my social, my SSA.gov, my SSA.gov. You can see I don't make any more money. I'm not including a spouse. My PIA is 2619. Let's include a spouse and say I make no more money. So if I take my benefit at my full retirement age at 67. And Charlotte will get half of my PIA, all right? So she'll get half of 2619, which is that number there. If she takes that 62 and I take mine at 67, she'll get a, not half because she's taking it early. All right, she'll get 1,055 because it's based on my PIA. So if she took it early before her full retirement age, she'd get reduced. She'd get 1,000 bucks and I still get 2619, assuming I took it at my full retirement age of 67. But notice it doesn't change. If I take mine delayed at this case, again, this is making no more money ever again. I get thirty-two forty-seven. Well, she only gets sixteen thirteen. It doesn't change. I just want to point out the spousal benefit does not change once you reach as a spouse or full retirement age. Anyway, so I'm going to do this as a uh, premier because I think it's important to understand how Social Security works. Uh, and uh, hopefully, you guys got some comments. Put them in the notes here because uh, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. But they're going to get rid of Social Security. When I hear that, I just laugh at people. I say, okay, how are you going to pay for Medicare? How are you going to pay for health care? I'm going on Obamacare. I'm going on Medicare. Oh, okay. Because Medicare is in better shape financially than Obamacare, huh? I mean, literally, that's just idiotic, my friends. Uh, uh, Social Security. Medicare is in better shape financially than Social Security. It's just idiotic. So anyone who says, I'm not using Social Security in my planning, and then you say, well, how are you going to uh, plan for health care? And they say, I'm using Medicare. And just, you just walk away. Break the wrist and walk the way. Break the wrist and walk away. Where is that from? But it's one of the best movies of all time. One of the top three. One of the top three. That movie, Back to the Future, uh, and American History X. The three top movies of all time. That movie, American History X, X, and the first Back to the Future. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see ya.